Hi everyone. Welcome. Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stampin' with the Niece. I'm so glad you're joining me tonight. I can't believe we only have a little over three weeks left of celebration. Celebration's the best time in the Stampin' Up! year, and we get two celebration celebrations. One in January and February, and one in July and August. So we are just about to the end of this current one. And stuff is starting to sell out. And when I change my view, I'll pull my brochure out and I'll show you the things, the two things that as of the last time I checked had sold out. So if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. Um, I love it when you give me hearts and when you share my video. So if you do share my video, comment down in the comments and you'll get a chance to win the project I'm working on tonight. Last week I made this, I think it's a really cute accordion type card that features both sides of our gorgeous, one of our gorgeous celebration designer series papers. This one's going to go to Martha Roberts because she did share and comment shared. So thank you, Martha. I do appreciate that. I'll get that card out to you very soon. And um, if you're following me on YouTube, welcome. Please make sure you've subscribed to my channel. And once you subscribe, please click the little bell so you get notified of when I upload a new video. I generally upload a video on Monday evenings. So thanks again for being here. So I think we are going to go right to it. Tonight I'm doing an, a variation. It's a variation of this card. It's another accordion type fun fold, but it's a little bit different. And I'm using some different celebration paper. I'm going to use the, what's it called? Rings of Love designer series paper. I wasn't sure about this at first, but I'm really liking it now. And we'll talk about that. So let me change to my hand view. I'll show you what's sold out, and then we'll get started on tonight's project. Okay, so let me pull my celebration brochure over here real quick. So the two things that I know have sold out are these pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. And sadly, but I'm not surprised, the tree lot dies are gone. It coordinates with one of the sets in the end or in the July to December mini catalog, but that's gone. But there's still plenty of fun stuff. There's still other things available in this celebration in this celebration brochure, and Stampin' Up had added some additional items. And you know what? I don't have my hand my flyer with me to show you. It's items out of the annual catalog, but you have to use the specific item number that they've assigned it for celebration for their system to know that it's gonna be your free celebration item. So I know I posted it last Tuesday on my Facebook page. So if, you're, if you go there, you'll find it. If not, send me a message and I will get that information to you. So like I said, this is the Rings of Love designer series paper. This here is probably my favorite piece of paper in the whole stack. This one has houses on the back. The birds are really cute. And I love this blue watercolor. This paper has something for every season. The way I see that is that could maybe be spring. These, flower, these flowers could be summer. And it has this fun plaid on the back. This is most definitely fall. Maybe I'm going to have to do something with that. I haven't used that paper. I haven't even touched it. So maybe next week I'll have to do a project with that. Oh, look at that. You know what? I kind of miss that. I like that on the back. I don't always like the back sides. We've talked about that. We've talked about that piece. And then we have, we have this paper here. I haven't done anything with either. This is kind of a fall-ish. I guess. And this could definitely be for Christmas holiday. And look at those tr that tree design. That is cool. So anyway, it's a very versatile pack of paper. If you want it, 
I wouldn't wait because those it's likely celebrations always on an as basis available basis. So tonight's card, like I said, is a variation on the one we made last week. It's another accordion card, as you can see, but it's got a little extra piece here. It's super simple to make. And I've used some of my favorite papers out of that pack I just showed you. So, I use, and then I'll just go ahead and show you the stamp sets I've used. So for the flower on the front, I've used the color and contour stamp set. I might as well get it out here. And the coordinating dies. This was to cut the flower out. You know, you could fussy cut, you could use any flower. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out because I'm gonna need that. And then over here, I've used the sentiment. Um, which one did I pull up? Wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. And you know what? This could almost be like a for someone getting a new house. And I love this style of house. If anybody knows what it is with these long, what it's called, the style, the architecture with this long roof line like this. I just love it. My great aunt used to live in a house that had that. And I thought it was so cool. It looked like, I thought it looked like a gingerbread house. So, um, so that's the sentiment I used on the inside. And then I used the seasonal labels for the greenery on the front um, and that's just simply because I don't have one of the punches any of the punches right now that are current that have um, you know greenery like that so I just pulled that out of that but that could really be any punch that you want to use so let's get started I'm gonna start out here oh before we get started here is my website if you want to place an order be sure you use the host code and you get an extra gift for me for orders over $35 before shipping and tax if you use the host code. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my trimmer here and we are going to cut, I'm gonna start out with, this is Knight of Navy. And we are gonna cut this five and a half by 11. So this is already 11. I'm gonna Put that out of the way real quick here. So five and a half. So this is a little bit bigger than a half a sheet of paper. Okay. Then this piece here is three inches. And we're going to cut this off at six inches. And this is going to make our inside piece, okay? that the scrap that you can use on another project. Get the blade out of the way so I don't cut when I need to score. So this piece while it's here, I'm gonna go ahead and score it at the three inch mark. So it's, I'm scoring it right smack in the middle. This piece, we are going to score at one and three quarters, let's see here. One and three quarters, three and a half. Five and a quarter. And seven. Okay, there we go. Put that away. Here. I just love that I can cut and score with the same piece of equipment, same tool. So I'm going to fold on my score lines so I, and burnish it down so I get nice, firm folds. Okay, so this one, this is the base of our card, so to speak, the back of it. So I want to make sure I do these the right way. So this one's going to go like this. So then this one's going to go like that. And 
and this one goes like that. And it's as easy as that. Okay, so there's the base, and there's our little insert. Easy, easy. Easy peasy, as they say? I don't know. Okay, oh, that doesn't want to lay down. Let me get something to put on there. Let me see. I think I can use my scissor, my paper snaps. Mm, that helps. At least you can see it now. Okay, so I am going to put this piece of designer series paper right here in the back. This piece is three and three quarters, yes, by five and a quarter. And it's going to go right here. So just remember, because it's going to show around the outside. So if it's directional, you have to cut it going the right direction. Now you, on the back of that is the pa paper, the paper has the house designs. And you can pick any house you want and fussy cut. It really doesn't take very long to cut out one of the houses, okay? They're very, really super simple. Okay, so there's that. Just love that pattern and those colors and everything. Okay, so this piece here, we are going to, I'm just going to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. Yep, we are going to adhere. See these two? It's going to go right in the middle. And we want it right like that. That's the way it's going. But I think before I do that, I am going to put at least some of the white pieces on this. White piece on the front is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And you're going to need two of those, one for either side. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on because this one doesn't have any stamping on it. You know what, maybe I'll go ahead and do the other one too and put it on, I'll stamp it and then put it on. So we're gonna put this right here. This is gonna be the front. Okay. Here's the other one. So this is the wishing you every happiness the special day will bring. Again, I'm using Night of Navy because that's the color of my card base. I'm going to put this right in the middle. Nice. That looks good. Okay, we can cover that up. Close that up. And we're going to put that back here. Now remember this, because this is going to go like this, you want to make sure you get your sentiment on the right way. So... It has been hot and humid here in Michigan, but a lot of, whoops, I think I'm out of adhesive. I'm gonna have to reload. I knew I was low, but I forgot. Let me get another one out. Okay, so I always do this. I take it off like this. And there's always some adhesive kind of stuck in there and goo goober it up. Yeah, it just collects there. So anything you can get off is good. But now I've got a lot of very sticky adhesive stuck to me. There we go. Okay. And so you saw me, I just pulled it out and set it to the side. That way I know exactly how it goes back in. So I'm going to up, open up a new adhesive. Come on. There we go. It's got a nice Ziploc closure. I suppose you could store your um, stamp and seal in there, especially if you lost your, you know, cap for it. Okay, I'm gonna throw that away. There we go. Get it started so you're pulling, get a little bit of adhesive. And now remember, okay, so this is the front, that's the inside. So we're gonna put some adhesive just on these two areas where it's going to attach. Okay, 
way. And we want to kind of, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to kind of, of place it so that it's centered where I want it. Close this down. Close that down. Then it's right where I want it. That. Perfect. Okay, now while we're here, I'm going to go ahead. I've cut a piece of what another piece of basic white and this one's three by three you can see it's the same size as that blue piece and it's going to go back here initially I had put in a a large you know what I didn't do I didn't put on my designer series paper there oh no can we can we unhook this one we're gonna get it we're gonna get it yay okay backtrack backtrack okay Two, two strips of and that's of uh, designer series paper. These are one and a half by five and a quarter. They're gonna go here and on the inside. Boy, I'm glad I noticed that. I would have been upset with myself. I think I got sidetracked because I was had to refill my adhesive. Okay. Which one do I want? I'm going to put this one on the front, although the green is not going to show very much because it's going to be covered up. Okay. I'm going to do this one, too. Now, I've seen this card done where all of these panels were covered in designer series paper, but I decided against it, but you certainly could put some designer series paper here and on that panel. Okay. Now yeah, we'll go back. I'm gonna put re put another adhesive on there. Try that again. Yay! Okay, now we're back on track. Now this piece, as I was saying, is three by three, and it's gonna go in here. To write a little message on. And we're going to place it right behind that square so that it doesn't show when the card is closed. Initially I had a larger panel in here and I didn't like it because the white part showed so I had to rethink what to do with that. Okay so I'm going to put adhesive on the back of this and I'm going to show you how we are going to, it's going to be super easy to place this so that it, it hides back there and you won't even have to worry about placing it. It'll absolutely go where you want to. So here's my front side. This is my side with the adhesive. I'm going to put the non-adhesive side right on top of this. Okay. Just close that over. And there you are. Look at that. How easy is that? Perfect. Okay, so really all we have to do is work on the front. So let me set that aside. We are going to stamp. I'm going to stamp my flower first. I'm using sweet sorbet. And this is um, a, this card is two-step stamping. So the first time I'm stamping, I'm stamping the outline and then the second time I'm stamping the inside. And it's kind of an abstract flower. And you know it can be a little hard on these types of flowers to find which way they go or these types of stamps so you can't see it but i took a sharp i figured it out and then i took a sharpie and i put a black dot on the back side of the stamp so i can see it through the block and then i put it a corresponding black dot with a sharpie on that one so now i know how to orient my stamps so that they stamp perfect on top of each other so this one's here and this one's right here so I just keep you know kind of make sure I know where it is when I'm stamping and on this stamp I put it on a really easy one to find one of these just with a single one of these with just a single line I just don't know that you're gonna be able to let that focus for a second I'm gonna focus no but it's right in that spot okay 
Okay. So I'm gonna or I'm gonna hold this oriented the right way. Now I'm gonna ink this up. See, I don't want my inside color as dark as the outside. I want some contrast. So I'm gonna ink this up and do what I call stamping off. So I have a piece of scratch paper over here. I'm just gonna stamp off some ink and then I'm gonna put it back down, lining this up where I know it's supposed to line up. And there and you know what? It's a little off, but you know what? It's okay, it's an abstract flower. So, there we go. We're gonna, so I'm gonna bring my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine over. Let me get my plates here. I really was off when I stamped that, but, oh, you know what? I think I forgot my, did I forget? Nope, this is right, okay. All of a sudden, I was thinking I'd forgotten something. Um, okay, we'll put this down here. I'm going to put this on here. Where's my die? Oh, i got to figure out now how this goes. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, darn it. Let me see. Let me look at that flower there. I think it... Nope. Let me try this one. <laughs> Boy, I'm having a hard time getting this. Could that be it? I should have marked my die too. I do that sometimes. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. You know as soon as it, you hit it. Okay, I'm going to put this top plate on. Except you know what I, I realized? My handle is on the wrong side of my machine. Oh, well. We'll take care of this. And again, you could use any flower that you have, but look at that, there you go. There's my flower. Let me get rid of this. I'm gonna turn this around so that I've got the handle on the right side. Now, I have a piece of, so, no, soft sea foam. I'm gonna cut a couple of these leaves out. Again, if you've got a punch that's got, like we used to have this rig punch and I know we've got a current punch that has that kind of a shape to it use that use a flower die it, or you know a, a leaf die that you might have with one of your your sets it really doesn't make much difference Let's do another one here oops I didn't want, I don't ever want to leave the die on the floor because it'd be my luck I'd forget it's there, I'd step on it and then I would bend it. Okay, and I've already cut out a house. I used this one because this was my next favorite one after this style. So tell me what that style of house is. Um, I'm going to start out, I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. I'm going to trim that up just a little bit, make that just a little straighter. There we go. Uh, more of my dimensionals. Here they are. You know, I wasn't sure what I would ever use that house design for, but you know what? I kind of like this. It would be good for a housewarming card. So I'm going to put this right down here. Now we're going to put a flower together. 
do the same thing. A couple things I want to point out about this card first of all. Normally you want everything inside the dimensions of your card, like this is hanging out, and you're thinking, oh, that's going to be too big to go in the envelope and it's going to get folded. Actually, in this case, it's not because you may not have realized it, but this dimension is a quarter inch smaller than our standard card. And you don't notice it. But I'm going to show you. This was the card I made last week with the standard base. You see? It's just, it's just that quarter inch. So if I move that over and line it up that way, you can see that those leaves are still well within the parameters of the envelope. So it will fit in. But this time I am going to orient them just a little bit differently so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of this flower. Okay, so let's see. I'll put one that's kind of like this, and then this one I'm going to put more a little bit at a down angle, like that. Let's see how that's going to work. Yeah, see, now I have it angled a little differently, so it's going to fit on my card just fine, but that one still works, no, no worries. So I just put a little adhesive on the back of the flower, applied my two cuts there. What am I looking for? Some more some more dimensionals. Put one in the middle. I think I'll put one right here. And I'm, I know this is kind of a lot for this little piece, but I like to make sure it's well supported. So, anyway. I want to, if you're local and come to my local classes, I have my next card classes are on G August um, 20th. So I'll be sending out that email a little later this week. So keep an eye out for that. So there we go. So it's another variation on our accordion fun fold. So there you go. I hope you like that. I think that again, this is an easy, it looks hard, but it's super easy once you see someone put it together. So thanks everybody for joining me tonight and I will see you next Monday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern for Stamping with Denise. Take care everyone. Have a great creative week. Bye.